So uh, hello everyone. I am Antonio Benuelos. I am in eighth grade and I'm 13 years old and I currently live in Dallas, Texas. So I am also the inventor of King of the Board, which entered in People of Play and also won the, what, what was it? Uh, won a most creative concept for in 2020 for the Young Inventors Challenge. So I would like to share my screen real quick. Um, sure, go right ahead. So, so I, as I said again, Antonio Benuelos, Inventor King of the Board, and I entered into the People of Play Young Inventor Challenge. So you have to create your own board game or toy to enter this challenge. So ever since I started the registration, Miss Jasmine, which I am currently standing in here for today, um, she has been with uh, she was with me through the registration all the way till after the competition. So she was very helpful and she was very caring and helped us easily go through the process. So the mission of the Young Inventors Challenge is to inspire the next generation to use creativity, uh, critical thinking, and STEM skills to invent the next best-selling toy or game. So um, how the competition works is kids 6 through 18 can enter the challenge they must create an original toy or game. They have to make a pitch video that will be seen by the biggest to uh, biggest toy and game companies in the entire world, and they will receive feedback from professional professionals throughout the board game industry. So, um, I actually, it, even though you may not win the challenge, everyone will receive feedback from the professionals, which can really help my game, and in this case, it also helped mine. So the benefits is kids get to be creative in making their own toy or game because this will be shown to many people in, throughout the entire world, not just where it's based in. And, and the People of Play Young Inventor Challenge is based in Chicago. So they also get to learn teamwork because sometimes you get to make games with your friends or your parents or your brothers so uh, or sisters or any family members. But you have to work together to make sure everything runs smoothly and all agree on the same idea. And also... Kids can win very big prizes. As you can see here, uh, Sheriff won $250, and he also will, oh, sorry. He will, He also won uh, one of the bundles in the back that you can see. So he won those, and those are from the current sponsors of the Young Inventors Toy and Game Fair. Some, some of these people have been picked up, and they have been licensed, and, and some of these companies have produced their games. So I created King of the Board, and as you so on the in the first picture, you can see on the right there's a card and three dice. Whenever I entered, that was the first thing where it would change the game. It's a very, it's a very, how do I say it? It's a very, um, it it's something that can change the game at any moment. Mm -hmm. So you make five in a row, you get to roll the dice. But after I end, after the competition, I receive feedback and say, since there's so many combinations on the card, it's front and back, that instead of having all those combinations, I can write cards. And then those cards, you can draw a card and then roll a dice. So I that evolved my game a lot, and it was very important to where it is now. And my pitch video is also uh, on the QR code. And on the bottom right, you can also see the pictures of all the games that I won. And you can also see the trophy I'm holding in my hand from winning. So these were all that I still use most of them right right now. So those were very enjoyable to play. And my game was pr prototyped uh, by Advanced Tech. They three printed it, and that was very um, heartwarming for me because I didn't have a prototype. You can see that on the left, it's a corkboard and golf tees. That's literally what it started as. And then having that prototype of the 3D printed board, which is super cool. And you can see the colors and it's just super amazing. And I want to thank them because that really evolved the game even more than it was. And then you can also see my brother and I playing with it for the first time. And on the QR code, you can see the, the story about how they made it. And you can also see uh, 
the steps they took to build the game and the pieces that go with it. So um, successful stories is uh, in 2012, Nick Metzler won his game, squashed, and was licensed by Playmart, and is still being sold currently around the world. Nick now works for Spin Master as a designer and a product acquisition executive and won the Toy and Game Inventor Rising Star Award in 2018. So this actually right here, Bet You Can't, is the reason why I actually got into the competition. I saw a game at Target because we were shopping for one of my cousins. And I saw that and we saw the picture of these two ladies on the side that you can see on the side. And it read 2018 Young Inventors Challenge winners. So we went home and we searched it up and we found out that we can create a game and we actually entered the challenge. So this was uh, a coincidence that we had and is one of the most successful things that you, the Toy and Game Fair had ever produced so at age 18 or at age 13 lily brown and tate hansen created bet you can't they won the young inventor challenge in 2018 and soon after pressman toys bought it brought their game to the market and it exclusively sold at target and also uh tiggy slowinski created a game called draw into crime a mashup of clue pictionary and guess who she was the mo she won the most creative game in 2017, and her game was licensed by Play Monster. So that that is a <clears throat> very fun game to play, and you can also see there's many different elements that go into it. So some uh some Bond, Ith, Mattel, and uh Pressman, which are all really really big. Uh, brands in the board game you see a lot of games made by them. I actually have a couple of them in my big games closet because my family is really big I a lot of them are made from these sponsors so they help support the young inventors challenge and this 2021 young inventors challenge is a fully virtual event um, it used to be just in Chicago but now since the pandemic it it, it made it to where everyone can join, even people from different countries. So on October 31st, you must register. On, a, on November 7th, your pitch video must be entered. And on November 20th, the Young Inventors Virtual War Show is, uh, ho is hosted. So uh, one thing I would, I would say is to watch the entire video because we watched a certain section of it. And I thought I lost to another group because I thought there was only two winners, one for the junior and senior division. But then we went back a couple of days later and then I found out they won. So that was very funny, but uh, just watch the entire video. So, and that's the end of my presentation. So. Well, fantastic. Thank you very much, Antonius. My name is Deborah Kirby and I'm based in Canada. And I'm the president and CEO of the Learning Partnership. And we're an organization that works in schools across Canada, bringing innovation, education, STEAM, coding, et cetera, to younger students from grades one to grade eight. And I'm so, I just want to give you a shout out again for winning this challenge, the Young Inventors Challenge for the Best Learning Concept, which is a really great category in terms of the learning so that you can be passing it on to others. I was really curious about your, your inspiration about the next generation of creativity and critical thinking. What, what was your inspiration as an inventor? I know you'd mentioned that, you know, uh, Nick Metzler and Squashed was one part, but for you beyond that, I'd just like to know more about your inspiration as an inventor. So my inspiration of King of the Board was actually just to have a game that uh, was something that is different from chess because I, love chess that's one of my favorite games and i always ask people to play it but they never want to because everything is so confusing so my i came up with something that was much simpler than chess but involves the similar strategies and similar gameplay as chess so that uh basic that first started my inspiration of making it and then i just wanted to get it out there because i know my, many people have the same situation as i do so i would like for the entire world to be able to play something and learn the exact same thing as you could in chess but just have way more fun with it and it's also a four player game it's a two player game to a four player game and it's not just a two player so that's also another benefit great thank you and antonia i would just like to say if 
I'm sure that if Jazz isn't watching this right now, uh, she will be at some point, and she'd be very proud of you for being a spokesperson for People of Play. You did a fabulous job going through all that. I had written down a couple of questions, but before you got to the end, you'd answered those questions for me. And congratulations on your prototyping award. That's pretty cool. I think the last time we spoke, I don't think you had it prototyped yet. And that's pretty cool to look at. I mean, to see something that you thought about and maybe iterated a couple of times on now come to life as an actual prototyped um, game. Um, so you've gone kind of from a um, idea maker to an inventor to uh, a spokesperson, <laughs> uh, a role model for other kids uh, to inspire them. I think that's pretty cool. You, you have a little brother, right? Yes, ma'am. He is and, 11. And what's he doing now? Is he following your footsteps? So he actually is. He has two ideas for a card game and a, another game that's sport that's sports related because my family's really big into sports. So he is in the middle right now of trying to develop his two games that he wants to, and he is going to try to enter the Young Inventor Challenge next year to make sure everything's perfect. So whenever he ends it, he has a very good chance to win. So, no, oh, very good, fantastic. I have a question for you, Antonius. You've gone through this through this process, um, you know, others will be learning from you when they're watching this. What are some of the big challenges you ran into that you think um, other students might learn from to be prepared for when they start to go through ideation to invention and maybe someday spokesperson? So uh, challenges is um, not being afraid to put their idea out there, which is like, whenever you have an idea, you don't know how it can affect uh, someone or something or the entire world because you may think that it won't affect something and then it may evolve into something else or something very similar and then it affects a lot more than what you thought it was. So that is something that I feel like if you have an idea, don't be afraid to share it with people and don't be afraid to enter into the uh, Young Inventor Challenge. Also something is being able to take feedback and being able to change your game because you could like you see the professionals and you saw my cards and there was front and back of like 20 combinations and that's super hard to remember and just simplifying it down to cards um would makes it super simple and it also makes it way more fun and you don't just have the card to look at so being able to change and adapt is something also that i learned was very important very good. What's next for King of the Board and for you? So uh, for me, it's self-publishing, which is going to be a super hard process. But that is something that we've been waiting for uh, any uh, for the the companies to come talk to us. But we haven't gotten any word from them. So now we're just going to try to self-publish. Can you share more about that process of self-publishing? Actually, I was going to ask you. Yeah, really? Yeah, that means about that. Yeah. <laughs> so going through self-publish is you start by having a GoFundMe page or a Kickstarter. That's what we use in the United States. And we raise money from that. And then we would go to production companies that just build stuff. And we would take it to, to our idea and take it out to them. And then they would make it in mass production. And then we would just try to somehow what just put it into different stores. So like Walmart. Target, maybe even Amazon, hopefully we can get there, but that's a big ask. So. Well, that's pretty incredible. What a feat. Will you come back in a future global innovation field trip and let us know your progress on it and definitely let us know when it's time to buy because I honestly have never been interested in chess because in my mind, and it might not be true, it, it's the complexity of it. And I want something I can play quick and fast and not necessarily have to think way too hard about. So um, not that yours isn't, you know, I'm sure yours takes a lot of brain power too, but um, I would like to try it. So I would be one of your first customers once I know it's out there to buy somewhere. Wow. Just a reminder for me, which grade are you in? I'm in eighth grade. <sighs> Amazing. You are Thank an inspiration. You. And I know you're going to be an inspiration to many adults and students who are watching this and their parents that you've had the courage to carve out this path 
and to be open to that learning as an inventor from others. Um, and now moving into self-publishing, um, yeah, huge respect for you and huge wishes uh, for all good things in your journey ahead as an inventor. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Thank you very much. Do come back and give us an update when you can. Yes, ma'am, thank you for this opportunity. You're welcome. All the best, Antonio. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Thank you.